Okay, I bought these um, Christmas tree lights, um, known as Faulty. Um, I, they were advertised at £20 and I paid £5 for them thanks to the manager of the shop that I'm not going to mention. Um, so, um, yeah, do lots of projects with Christmas tree lights, so I thought, why not do another? So, um, so what we've got is the very big bunch of Christmas tree lights. And uh, yesterday when I bought them, I tried them on my power supply, which we shall try now. So these um, Christmas tree lights, the power supply um, says it's a 32 volt output. So I've got 31 point something on my power supply. So connect the ground and then the live. So that's one half. And if we switch the polarity, now the other half. So the lights themselves work okay. Now, here's the interesting thing. The power supply, or the uh, effects thing, whatever. Uh, so I cracked this open on the vise, just put it in, wound it until it went crack, and then turn it round and crack, and then eventually managed to peel it off. Um, so uh, that's it with its uh, lid off. Now, uh, overall, it looks good. Um, just bear in mind, I'm an amateur at this, but um, obviously, this is the faulty component. And when I opened it up, voila, that there is or was a capacitor. Now, uh, the one thing that I did notice is that down inside, um, hang on, let me get my angles right, there we go, um, back there is the obviously the neutral and there's quite a bit of exposed uh, cable on there and I am guessing it clashed with this capacitor and uh, I imagine that was quite a bang when it went off so what I'm going to do is just cut the side out of this um, plug and then we'll have a look at the clearance on that Have a look, and yes, that capacitor definitely clashed with the neutral, and then that was why it went kaboom. So uh, something to watch out for in future, I think. But uh, yeah, so that's why that one was returned faulty. So. What we're going to do next is um, try and figure out how they've switched polarity to get the um, patterns um, and then uh, I'll be back. Okay, back again. Um, managed to get them working off the controller. Um, so I've cut this section out. Um, so basically cut the transformer out and there's anything to do with switch mill power supply. Um, so that's all gone. Um, and I've literally just put 30, 31.16 volts on the uh, input and um, they work. So, uh, so it is possible to get them lit all at the same time. So um, 
that's definitely on the cards for this project. Um, I'll try and do that with DMX. Um, yeah, so. So they show them quite bright. With them all on, so I'm quite happy about that. So what we're going to do now is reverse engineer this board. It shouldn't take too long. And then uh, I'll be back again. Okay, I've had a go at reverse engineering the circuit and it's just a simple H-bridge uh, circuit. So NPN transistors up here, PNP down here. Um, the resistors I'm using at the moment, I don't have any 1.5K, so I've put some 1K resistors in here. And then I've got some uh, 220 ohm resistors in here to match the transistors that I'm using. Um, so I'm just using some cheapy transistors off uh, eBay. Um, and I've got 5 volt regulator here. Um, uh, 7805 and um, two 10k resistors acting as my um, pull ups uh, to simulate the uh, microprocessor. So, uh, so I press that, nothing happens. Wait, I'll turn it on. Right, here we go. LEDs on, <laughs> got five volts, got 32 volts coming in here. So that's that side, and that's that side. So, so the H-bridge um, circuit, you can buy a chip just to do all that, all in one. Um, I did find one on uh, Farnell, uh, which can go up to about 36 volts max. Um, and the smaller package um, can take up to half an amp. So these are only drawing 100 milliamps a side. So, um, yeah, it's an 8 pin package, so it'll be a lot easier to do, I think. Check out the next video for connecting the microcontroller, and then we'll use pulse width modulation to have both sides on at the same time. Because um, obviously, with the H bridge, you can only have one side on or the other, you can't have both on at the same time, uh, otherwise, things go bang. Um, so, um, yeah, join me in the next video.